Hello and welcome to today's video. We're here playing NASCAR Heat Evolution, Season 6, Episode Number 10. We have currently 9 wins as Kurt Busch. Jimmy Johnson has gained another win, up to now 3 wins. And followed by Kevin Harvick, Matt Kansas, Joe Logano, Kyle Larson, Martin Truex Jr., and Kyle Busch. All still with one win. So, we now head to another one of my worst tracks. New Hampshire, where we're going to try and get a decent finish before heading to Indianapolis to wrap up this week of videos. And I got to try at Indianapolis to maybe get a win this time. We've come close the last couple seasons, so hopefully this time we can capture Okay, so here we go, win. guys. We are 40th here at New Hampshire. And we're going to try to run up to the front. As I said earlier, uh, but we're, we're going to see. That was a really good move there, trying to get the inside lane. I know there was a big enough gap between whoever's 40th and myself. So I left the gas for a couple seconds, fell back just enough to on get side by side with 38th. And just fill into that position. There is 21 laps of this race. And we have never got the win here. So... This is one of those tracks that I want to use to help boost my win total as we did with Texas to get our first ever Texas win. We boosted up our win total at Texas. We boosted up our total at Texas with the win. Not sure if we can at New Hampshire, but... We're gonna try. We're sure gonna try here at New Hampshire today to boost that total. Here we go, so we do have the lead now. We'll be wrapping up the end of the series next month, as I realize this is the last NASCAR Heat video here in April. So starting May, of course, we will be continuing this series, wrapping it up season six. We should be starting number seven in May. We should take us all the way through most of May. Will be seasons well, it's sort of split between both seasons, and then June will have season seven the whole way through. So I'm really trying to run this track like Martinsville right now. That's really what I'm trying to do, is run this like a bigger Martinsville. The only issue is that get up off the corner is really, really hurting me. Because we don't... It's not so much getting off the corner, but it's... Martinsville, I can gap the field a real lot off the corner. But here, I have to make the corner a lot shorter to try to boost myself forward to get by a couple of these cars. Here you'll just keep running at New Hampshire, seeing how we can run. Nine to go, hopefully we can get a solid finish here. That's all I'm asking for is a solid, solid finish. And if I can hold it inside line, I can cut up and block other lanes down the back straight away. Okay, that was a terrible corner. 
So you don't misuse the corners. That's our thing. If we misuse the corner... See, we're not going to catch Logano now. We, he's got too much on me. And if I just go into this corner and try to wreck him, then I'm going to end up wrecking myself. This happens if I go too hard in the corner. I just lock up the wheels really hard. Really? Oh my god, this is what happens to me every single time. I try to just run good at this goddamn fucking track. Get out of my way, you fucking idiot. Oh my god, I can't do this. I can't. How did I go from second to 15th so quick? Oh. Just run a solid run at this goddamn fucking track. I hate this track so much. I really wish NASCAR didn't run here at all. This track is stupid. It's the only NASCAR track I ever went to, and it was a fucking terrible race. I want to try that as good races and the tracks that I can fucking win at. And this track is neither one. It's a shame that it's two times the fucking schedule. Shame that it's once. I hate this track so much. Went to the track and it's so boring. It's starting to last a fucking flat track. Nothing happens here. All it is is going around. I really despise this goddamn track. I fell to 11th here. There we go, we finally got a caution that I wanted. The question is, can I get a good enough start that I can boost the front? After losing all these positions that I have lost. No, we're not. We can't. Can't get a good start. Can't. This game refuses to give me a good start the one time that I need it. No caution for that. Thank you. Okay, here we go one more time. Here at New Hampshire. We're in fifth. Again, not the best restart we've gotten, but not as bad as the last time. All we needed was a solid entry to the... Oh, no, we're done. We're done. We're done. We screwed it up really bad. If I can get on side by sided with this guy here, I can make something happen. Did I really screw it up? I really screwed it up. How? I hate this track every single time I get a race here. I really wish there was an option to skip track, because I really just would. This track's no fun. Whoever just created this track, why? Why? Here we go, qualifying 14th at Indianapolis. This track has been decent for me. We had to capitalize with a victory six seasons in. But every season we sort of ran towards the front. So I'm hoping for more of the same here in today's video. Now I do have an alternate option. I can pit on lap two and just run out the rest of the race. But I really just kind of like the idea of running up here with the rest of the cars. And we're not, we're not going to pit. We're just going to go here and run the rest of this race. Because we're good on fuel now. Because all we needed was one lap of fuel. That's why I typically don't do that pet strategy, because there's ends up being a wreck at some point in this race. 
There's eight to go, nine laps of fuel, as you see there. A little bit up the track. A little bit of contact from Chase Elliott. But here we go, getting into line. And we were able to just cut the corner nicely, get down below Chase, and see where we can go. Here's Keselowski now. Little touch of the break into the corner. And we have Jimmy Johnson and Joey Logano behind, uh, I mean, not behind, in front of me. I don't know if I lost a little on the restart or gained a little bit. Well, I think I'm gaining since the restart. I was just thinking down that straightaway. Oh no. Got a lot of contact with Jimmy Johnson there. Here we go, now we're behind Joey Logano. He's the only driver between me and victory right about now. Keep him from wrecking, but slow him down enough that he can't come here and contend with me. Seven laps, there should be uh, six to go. Yes, there's six to go, seven on fuel. We've won nine times this season. Nine victories. We're out here at a track that I've never won at. Similar to Texas, except for this is a track that I always have run up in the top at. But I've never really even led laps here. I've just been in the top five every single season that we've ran here. Or it's been close, I might have like wrecked in one of them and finished bad. But most of them, I've ran really, really well. I think there might have been one that I made a pit road mistake. Or oh, I'm thinking of a different game that I made a pit mistake. But I know that there was one race that I was going to win in Indianapolis and I made a pit road speeding penalty. I don't know if it was in this game or an older game. But either way, here at Indianapolis, we have five laps of fuel. And we do have five to go. So I don't know if I should be concerned on fuel or if I should not be concerned on fuel. I really don't know. But if he says we got five to go, if we still, if this is those five laps, and I can cross the line and go to four, and this doesn't change, we can make it. Because there's four to go. Now, when does it change to four fuel wise? Because right now we're still working with five laps of fuel. Okay, so it changes in the corner. So that means that we should have enough because it's four at the line and then four in the corner it's going to be three then three if it changes to three before the start finish line then we got to pit but if it changes after we should be able to make it it's cutting it short though i want to know how much fuel we're going to have when it changes to three this time because we're still at four, so we should be able to make it because we got four and four. Four and three. It's going to switch to three right here in the corner. I am so concerned about fuel. This is the track. I've been trying to win at. What happened to Logano? He's a full second behind now. I'm so worried. I shouldn't be. We're good. On fuel. I'm just so concerned. 
Like, I'm concerned we're going to run out in this corner. And not have enough to go the whole way. So we got two to go. Oh my god. That's going to cut it close and it turns to one. Oh my god. Like we were we were solid a couple laps ago. I kind of want to slow it down, but then I don't want to like run out in front of Logano and have him be closer to me when I run out. Cuz we're going to run out here in the next lap. I just want to see when it turns to one. Come on, please turn to one at the line. Okay, it was at the line. So as many, as much time as we don't have to be on the gas, the better. I don't have time to worry about tires being the concern. Logano is here. Oh, boy. Come on. <sighs> we ran out at the line. Cause look at that, my car ran out. It fell behind. <sighs> we won at Indianapolis though. That was so stressful. Because, I mean, look at my car. It's falling behind. It's out of gas. I think Logano went back and saved. That's why he fell so far back. And I just ran hard, and I was able... If I didn't make that block on him, I would have not been able to. I want to watch that last second block. Oh, my God. That was probably one of the most intense races that we've ever run. Right here. Let's look at this last last lap here okay so here we go this is probably the most tense last lap uh, besides the one at Texas those are both really intense laps Texas was so intense because I was my tires were given out there and I was sliding everywhere and I'm just like yo please hold on for the last lap and Matt Kessel was closing in here Joe Logano's closing in as I'm running out of fuel so I hit the line one lap of racing and of fuel and the gun was starting to close in, because he saved his fuel, he can go. I do know now that fuel is savable in this game. So here I am, I, and my tires are getting bad too, so you can see I'm really sliding up. Which is giving Logano even more room to catch us. So here he always blocking on me. I mean, I'm blocking, he's drafting a little bit. We're going to this corner, and I slide up even a little bit more, and I'm like, okay, we can do this. And this is when it gets good. Because right here, he's right behind me. If I slip up at all, he's passed. And this is really where he was going to make a move. I block him. He goes down even lower. And right here, I block him again. And at this moment, it's just blocking. Because I know if I don't block him, he's going to get by me. Because he's faster. And if I don't block him and I run out of fuel, then it's an issue. Because if I run out of fuel, he's going to push me. Because I can just block and stay in front of him. Because the worst thing going to happen, I'm going to crash but right here i was able to just block him just enough to get the win <laughs> the computer's like nah you're out of gas fam because i've seen it switch to zero right as i hit the line so we're out of gas and now it's time to look at how the standings are switched or have changed after a week of racing getting ready for the next episode so coming after up on Tuesday. today's video after today's racing i guess you can say i have now got myself up to 10 wins on the season. Jimmy Johnson is at three in second place. Joe Logano is third now with two after grabbing the win in New Hampshire. 
Kevin Harvick, Matt Kenseth, Kyle Larson, Martin Truex Jr., and Kyle Busch all have a single win. Now, if we look here at our stats of the series on the channel, season number three, most wins regular and chase with 15. Season six, most wins regular season and chase. And this, we haven't even started the chase yet on the series, obviously. We have 10. Season one with nine. Season two with eight. Season five with seven. And season four with five. And now if we look at the regular season, just the regular season, season three with 12 wins, season six with a 10. So we're two wins away. And we still have, how many races left? One, two, three, four, five, six races to go. So we only need to get three more wins to break the record. And we have six to go. So that means that the next week of the series, Pocono, Watkins Glen, Michigan, Bristol, Darlington and Richmond, we will end the regular season, and we also take a look at can we break this record. Now, we would only be at eight if I didn't get two uh, really close wins at tracks that are such a surprise to win, Texas and Indianapolis. Now, looking at this here, I do believe I can get a win at Watkins Glen, because we're, we're decent at the road courses. Michigan, we already got a win at Michigan. Bristol, I believe we did win Bristol. Did we or did we not win Bristol? We did win Bristol. So we had to two tracks we've already won at. And we've already won our road courses this season. And we typically do get the win at Watkins Glen. And then Richmond, we tend to get the win as well. So we could be looking at one, two, three, four potential wins next week. So we could set this record even higher. Uh, season two, we had six wins. Season five, we had six. Season one, we had four five and season four we had four so we head to the chase the most wins we ever got in the chase is four and i mean i think we could do the same thing and we can get four charlotte talladega kansas martinsville are typically our best bets to get the win texas we've done okay at. uh we've got we did get the win at texas earlier this season and phoenix it's really hit or miss there we're either gonna, we're either gonna get the win or we're gonna finish like last uh huh Homestead, Dover, New Hampshire, Chicagoland. Chicagoland could be one of those surprise wins this season. We'll find out in the coming weeks. But with that, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.